Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be a video on a new ant colony that I have. Of course, this is a shorter video because there's not really much to report on because I literally just got them. After so long, I finally have back my Solenopsis Xyloni colony. As you can see, this is actually a different morph. This is the California morph, which is, well, a little bit more red than the morph that I had previously, which came from Texas or Arizona. I think Texas. Not 100% though. This colony has been eating every single day. Uh, this colony is just absolutely awesome. It eats so much. It has majors. They are probably around about 80 workers at the moment. Not much brood because they actually, you know, a lot of the brood died in shipping because of how cold it was. But that's not going to be really much of a problem because the queen has been laying a lot of eggs. One thing with these Solenopsis is that these are in fact native to the United States. These are extremely native species. They don't grow as large as Solenopsis invicta or Solenopsis geminata. In fact, actually, I think they only get to around about 20 to 30k. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure they don't get anywhere near as big as those two species. These are my favorite fire ant species by far. I mean, nothing really can beat them, just mainly because their growth isn't as fast and colonies don't get as big. Their majors are a little bit bigger than uh, Invicta majors, but uh, besides for that, they're pretty much just kind of like native Invicta. As you can see, there is the queen. The queen is absolutely beautiful, just like most Solenopsis queens. She has a beautiful red color with a little bit of black and even a little bit of orange on her gaster there. She produces a lot of eggs and she will continue producing a lot of eggs uh, for as long as I keep her and as long as I keep them fed. This species is also granivorous, so they love their seeds and they love their just grains in general, hence the name granivorous. And uh, they also, you know, love their protein. I feel like these ants are mainly a protein ant. I don't even really give them sugars at all because of the fact that they just get all their sugars from their protein. Right now, this colony isn't that aggressive. If anything, they're just really shy at the moment, but I know that is 100% going to change uh, sooner, better than later. That is really it though. I don't really have much else to say about that. Sorry about this being a little bit of a shorter video, but I definitely did think that I had to, you know, show them off, you know, so you guys can follow this colony story throughout their growth and all that fun stuff. Pretty much what I use this channel for normally, which is just as a journal of me growing all, all these species. Growing out all these species, sorry. I'm doing this all in one take, it's kind of difficult to do. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, you can go ahead and uh, I'll just let outro me go ahead and finish this out. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all for watching this video. You guys can check out my Instagram where I oftentimes post stories and all sorts of stuff like that. You can also check out the two Discord servers, and Keeping Anthology and Ants Anonymous, where you can easily get in contact with me. Also, check out my Patreon. My Patreon is the best way that you can go ahead and support these type of videos, and it would mean a lot to me if you were to go over to become a patron, but you don't have to. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.